Hello ladies, it's Mesa with kinsmade.etsy.com and I know many of you have probably been guilty of buying a nail art stamping plate uh, just because you fell in love with a single image. Um, and also a lot of people are using the blank space image or the solid negative space image that you'll find on plates. Um, please do not buy an entire plate for that one image. I am going to show you how to use a dollar store chopping mat pieces and my printable um, that you can get on uh, kinsmade.etsy.com and some just some simple household items um, to make your own negative space image DIY style. I'm going to use some scissors to cut out. Um, you could do a black one. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the white one for myself. Um, you could also have different printables available, or you could simply make yourself a you know hand drawn square for this as well. Okay, you can see I've cut out the paper, and I've also cut these out of those Dollar Tree chopping mats that you buy in the kitchen section there. Um, and I'm going to use some tape, let's see, glossy side up, so I'm going to lay that down, lay this down here, and just tape across here. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to make a couple of little marks on my paper. Okay, I've went ahead and drawn with a sharpie just some arrows. Um, that is the direction that I find works best for me when I'm scraping. So I'm going to make those indicators so they'll be right in front of me on my plate. Uh, an advantage, you won't see that anywhere on a negative space image, but you can have it on yours. Okay, I've laid my tape down on the edge on the right. I'm holding this up and I'm going to sweep from right to left to lay my tape down. And I'm using a little squeegee uh, to make this work a little smoother. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like at the front, but I just used that tape on the back side to keep the paper um, on there. And now what I'm going to do is trim these edges and put another layer of this thick shipping, shipping, heavy duty shipping tape uh, for the top. The type of tape you use on the bottom really doesn't matter except it needs the thinner the better um, and it doesn't even have to really be transparent. Using the squeegee really does help keep it bubble free which is going to make a nice uh, smooth scraping surface for you, um, you know, when you're actually putting your polish on. So um, the squeegee works really nice. You want to try to get, I have a couple of bubbles here, but of course that's not the square I'm going to cut out. I'm going to square, cut out just these three squares using my X-Acto knife. I'll be cutting this, just the tape on the top layer. If you're not using the heavy duty shipping tape, I would recommend at least two layers of regular shipping tape. The one you use on the top does have to be transparent, just so you can see through your design. Hopefully you can see here that I've cut the edges and now I'm just pulling the center part out of this tape, or out of the, t the original tape. Okay, so I've went ahead and cut out these three different ones. Like I said, I do get a really good result with a very thick, rigid card. Um, if I flex too much, I end up scooping out um, if I use a flexible card, I end up scooping out the polish in the middle of the void, uh, which, of course, is counterproductive. I do think, on second thought, I am going to go ahead and make a second card out of the black, because I think I'll be able to check the opacity of the stamping polish that I'm using. Um, say if I want to put it on a dark, dark background, this will give me some indication of whether I'm going to get the coverage that I want or not. Okay, now we're going to see whether it actually works. Um, another advantage here is you get three different sizes, which you probably are not going to be able to get on a blank space image um, commercial plate. Okay, I hope I can do this successfully with one hand. Keep quite a bit 
off polish. I'm using this to fly and inspire. I like it. It's not stamping polish, but okay, whoops. I'm try to go the direction I said I was gonna go here for the scrape. And okay, I put a little extra polish on there. I forgot to grab my stamping tool. Whoops, so that's the pickup. Probably not the best doing it one-handed, but um, not too shabby. Anyway, there you have it. I hope this will save you guys a little money. I'm always trying to do things on a shoestring, as you know. Um, so hopefully you won't have to buy a plate just for the negative space images. Of course, like I said before, you can always... Um, you know, draw out any kind of negative space that you want. You could print them up fancy on the computer. You could do ovals. I'm sure you could find something to trace. Um, and then you just will use your X-Acto knife on whatever design and cut your tape out. That thick tape is what is making a little edge here for you to scrape against. So I hope that's straightforward enough, and I hope it helps somebody out. Thanks, ladies.